guys welcome back to my channel fabulous Bree here and I am back with another video and this time I will be talking about some hair I recently just received some new hair from Naya Vista on Instagram you may know it as a women's apparel line but they also sell luxurious virgin hair yeah let me put it that way <laughs> i was super super excited that she reached out to me and wanted me to rock some of her hair um if you don't know who i'm talking about i'm talking about anaya roderick or the annihilator on instagram you may have followed her from vine and then over to instagram and also on to youtube i totally totally love her i'm like obsessed with her not like a creepy obsessed but i've been following her for a while like ever since vine like used to be popping like her videos used to have me dying or you can really relate to her videos when she's on there talking but anyways enough of that let's go ahead and get right into this video see i was going to just show the video of me making a u-part wig but unfortunately i just did not like how it turned out i will still insert clips into this video showing you like the things that i did but i don't want it i didn't want that to be the whole video if you get what i'm saying so you know i created a u-part wig put it on did my makeup and all of that so i can just sit here and kind of talk about it with you guys i received four bundles this is their new loose wave that they received so i'm like so excited i keep saying they like it's a lot of people that she received <laughs> and the inches that i received I got an 18 inch, a 20 inch, a 22 inch, and a 24 inch. Like, I'm obsessed with like full hair. So, yeah. You know, I gotta go four bundles. You know what I'm saying? Four bundles or no? <laughs> yeah. And I will say, I might have to go ahead and get some black um, rinse hair dye because my hair, I um dyed it black so this hair is like a natural brown color i mean it doesn't look bad but it's just me being me i'm like a perfectionist so it's like i would need to dye this hair at least a little bit darker than what it is but it's, it's not too bad if you have like a natural brown hair color then this hair is definitely perfect perfect for you but me because i like black dark hair i will probably go ahead and dye it into a black color if I made my hair into a U-part wig and I use a um, a new wig cap because I normally just use a dome like like a dome cap what is them called like the spandex dome cap and you cut it out yourself but um, I came across this this was my first time actually seeing this packaging of how to make you know to make your own U-part wig I've never noticed this before I don't know maybe I'm just slow <laughs> but whenever I'm in a hair store I just go to sh go straight to what i know which is like an elastic stretchy dome cap i just get that draw like a u part on there and then just sew the hair all the way up and then cut it out but lately when i try to do that they never come out good like it'll either be too big or too small like but this right here this definitely definitely came out to a good size like I was totally shocked I was kind of nervous because when I first put it onto the um onto my mannequin head it was really big so I'm like oh my god <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to make this because you guys I'm not like a hairstylist so I don't really know like what to do most of the times to like help it you know i guess fit. i don't know i can't really explain it <laughs> but um all i did was just stretched it out and then i pinned it down with like some little t-pins and then i just went ahead and started to sew my hair down onto the cap and i started with the longest length which is a 24 and i just kind of went back and forth back and forth and i did the loop and pull method well i don't know if this called the loop and pull but what i do i just go right in like i go under and then i just pull it out like i don't tie a knot every time because i notice some people on here whenever they're making like wigs and stuff they will tie like a little knot every time on each like little loop that they do and i feel like that is just so unnecessary 
So me, I just decided to go ahead and just loop, pull, loop, pull, loop, pull, loop, pull. And then when I get all the way to the end, that's when I will create my knot. And then I, I don't cut my well set all whenever I make wigs. I do the flip over, well not the flip over method, the where you fold the fold over method basically because I feel like when you cut your wealth you tend to see a lot more shedding than usual so yeah I just like to go ahead I don't cut it until I get to the last little piece <laughs> and I have to cut that off and I only had about let me see I still have the last well of course I still have the last little bit of hair but this is pretty much all that I had left over I was able to fit all four bundles onto their wig cap, which I was pretty excited, but this is pretty much all I got left. But I think I'm going to like, whenever it's time for me to like wash my hair and stuff again, I'm going to actually fit this in here some kind of way because I want all of the hair to be on the wig. That's just me. I'm like somebody that's like, look, let me get all of this hair on here. Let me get it all on here. But this is the original, cause I did kind of put a little heat on it. I was trying to curl it, but I suck at curling hair. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's the loose body wave and it came just like this. You see that like when I first put the hair in, but see, I went to go work out the other day too, so yeah my hair kind of got frizzy and you know from sweating the um hair kind of fell a little bit but it still had the waves in it the loose waves but i was so sad because it has so much body you guys like oh my gosh look how much body that is and this is just fresh out the packet you guys like this is how the hair will come it is nice and tight and just a a bomb curl like you guys my hair had so much body when I first put that wig on it was crazy and then as I was making my wig I kind of noticed that I messed up I kind of had the um, wig cap shifted and I didn't realize that until I got all the way to the end and I'm like what the heck so I kind of had to like do the flip over method like on this side of the head so it's kind of or is it this side one side is kind of bumpier than the other one but i still feel like it turned out really really good you guys this is the finished look of everything this is how it looks like and it comes about if i pull it down it comes about right here let me stand up and show you guys but the hair comes about right here this is a 24 inch and you guys I'm 5'10 so this comes right above my butt area so if I was to like flat iron this hair your girl will be out here slanging okay <laughs> but anyways you guys um the hair I am really really obsessed with it, it feels so so good it's so soft you guys you know how sometimes when you receive um hair and you kind of run your fingers through it and it feels like a kind of like a weird texture it's not really that soft it's kind of like a a hard kind of texture i don't really know how to explain it but i've received some hair before where it was the touch of it it was just not the bomb like i already knew that once i started styling it it was gonna get tangled and maybe start shedding after a while because i have to constantly like brush through it to keep it like straight but i can tell with this hair like literally i have not experienced any shedding at all like none whatsoever like don't nothing come come out so this hair is really really good from my perspective from my initial review it's really really good you guys like if you're interested in some newer hair like getting hair from a new company or whatever the case may be i would definitely say check out um naya vista like her hair her hair is always laid if you if you follow her on instagram or whatever the case may be like her hair is always on the 10 okay so if you want your hair to be on the 10 all the time i should highly suggest i'm getting hung up on my words i highly suggest that you guys check out her hairline but yeah you guys what do you think i think i will record a video too like of me dyeing the hair black to see how it reacts after you dye it so let me know down in the comments if you want me to do a video like that and let me know what you think about this hair you guys like i'm obsessed with it like i really really like this hair it's so freaking soft like i'm not exaggerating 
this hair is so soft like it's crazy. Don't mind my real hair. I know it kind of has like a little texture to it, but that's because I'm not trying to really put too much heat on it, you know? I think I might put some heat on it one more time, maybe on Sunday, cause that's when I'm gonna go to Ulta and buy a couple more products, cause I ran out of some products to flat iron my hair with, to like kind of help with the heat damage, but yeah. Oh, let me also mention that on each, um on each of the hair bundles it comes with a tag and it lets you know like what texture you have and what length you have and also on the back it gives you hair care tips so you can take care of your hair you know yeah that's pretty much it you guys for this video I just wanted to come on here and show you my new hairstyle that I have for the moment you know I'm always switching my hair but I do think I am going to have this hair in for a while just to see how it does and then I can come back with another review on updates of how the hair um, turned out but I can say initially the first this is the first review so I can say that this hair it seems to be really really good like i'm obsessed with it like it's so freaking soft y'all but um yeah you guys let me just stop talking because i feel like i just go ahead and ramble all the time y'all probably be like girl shut up shut up definitely give this video a thumbs up i will have everything in the description box all about this hair where you can purchase it um the instagram handles like everything if you just want to go and check some out for yourself i will highly say go check it out like you don't want to miss out on some really good hair you guys but um yeah like i always say i will talk to you all in my next video bye